Hello and welcome to another edition of Let's Cook with Dimitri. We're going to make a traditional Greek sweet called Saraglakia. You'll need a packet of phyllo pastry, about 500 grams, 250 grams of butter, a tablespoon of ground cloves and ground cinnamon, and 100 grams of breadcrumbs. You'll also need 200 grams of walnuts and a special rolling tool about 40 centimeters long. You'll need two glasses of sugar, some lemon juice and vanilla, either drops or powder. So, first of all, melt the butter in a small saucepan. And while you're waiting for it to melt, grind the walnuts in a blender. It's best to do it in batches. Add the breadcrumbs to the walnuts and the spices and mix it up carefully. This is for the filling. Butter the bottom of a baking pan. Do it carefully so it doesn't stick. And then take two sheets of the phyllo pastry Fold half of the top one back on top of the other and brush the phyllo pastry with butter, the melted butter. Fold the sheet over again and now do the other side. Now comes the fun bit. Carefully brush butter over the top. And add a spoonful or two of the filling. Not quite at the edge of the pastry filo. Fold both sheets over, put in the rolling pin and roll it gently but not very tightly all the way to the end. Make sure the open side is on the bottom, scrunch it up and drop it into the baking dish. There's the first one. Do the same with the other sheets of phyllo pastry. Here's the last one. There. Take a sharp knife and carefully cut them into about five centimeter pieces. Brush the top with the last of the butter. And 
put it in a preheated oven to 180 degrees for about 45 minutes. As the saraglakia cooking, you need to make the syrup. Add two pints of water to the sugar. Add the vanilla powder or vanilla drops. two teaspoons of lemon juice. Stir it so that the sugar melts. And boil it rapidly. Now, as soon as the saraglakia come out of the oven, you're going to add the syrup. Both should be hot. As you can see, it'll soak right in and make it nice and delicious. Don't eat it now because it's very hot. Leave it to cool and then you can eat the saraglakia on their own or with some ice cream. We hope you enjoyed this latest recipe. Don't forget to like us and subscribe on YouTube. And we'll see you again on Let's Cook with Dimitris.